I said there is more to the issue of just over of overeating than just you know the whole issue of being fat than just overeating kind of thing. I don't know, maybe a month ago or something. Today's the 29th of March, 2024. I hear these numbers. I'm just... It boggles my mind how bad it is in this country with regard to 70% of Americans are overweight. 40%, 40%, almost, almost half, almost one out of two. Two out of five. <laughs> are obese means like grossly overweight and I I want to take personal responsibility you know on, on everything go back to yourself and I, I I'm, I'm saying this here I go you know I'm, I've been really changing my opinions on a lot of things and politics obviously more environmentally sound on things okay so I don't Environmentally, that's just one thing I'm getting into, but I just mentioned. It's not so much your fault. Okay, so my second wife and I birthed four of our children at, at our home in, in Ohio. So I, I saw... All the pregnancy, everything we did, we were meticulous about things. I changed my my own diet since then, so I've gone plant based. 2015. You can see my other videos about it. So for baby number one and two, the the cords were just average. Baby number three, we did a, a tighter diet. Cord was much thinner. Baby became much more smaller, and then of course, baby number four, we got heavier with cream cheese, for example. It's got a lot of fat in it. Cord was much thicker. Baby came out much bigger. And I, I'm saying this because it, it's a lot of what's go, what you're doing and during pregnancy to get you to where you are. Decades later into your life, you know, and then of course, when you're being raised as a child, I mentioned you know the children. The obesity rates, okay, and I'm now the children are, are, are I, I even, I, I, I'm not a teacher in, in America or anything like that. I, mean, I, I know of a few, but we don't talk about the obesity, what they see, and how big, how overweight the children are. But I hear about the numbers, and they're just grossly high. So it's, it's the way you're raised. Okay, so for example, I gained a lot of weight recently about more than 15% of my body weight. I was on a pill. That's another reason. It was a um, anti-psychotic pill. I, was, I had delusions. I was seeing things. I got off that pill and that weight just came right off. You gotta, well, one, one thing's for certain. I gotta go back to being as natural as possible. I'm not working out hard to get the weight to come off. I'm just letting it come off. You know what I'm saying? Um... Whatever you can do to just be as natural as possible. Because for so long, when you were in the womb, when you were a child, just even, you know, getting into taking a pill, for example. You know, gaining that weight, that caused you to not be natural. Another thing, too, for me that I, I noticed, and I can get my, hit my experiences on, on, on things, on my channels and pages, books... I stayed with my dad a lot in 2015. My first overnight with him actually, actually was back in um, December 22nd, 2020, 2014. I stayed with him, you know, during 2015. It was more, I don't know, it was, uh, still a brokenness of my, my you know, second divorce. So but I was staying with him and he's, he's over 300 pounds. Probably about five seven. I'm like five five and a half, five six. So <laughs> the food that they ate, I, I I could I still ate my own stuff. I gained the most in my life. I got up to 155 pounds. A good weight for me with muscle was like 140, and I I've I had 
recently gotten, I had after that gotten down to 127. Just by being in that milieu, you know, I'm, I'm gaining all that weight. So it's just, you're raised the way you are, you know, what are you going to do? So my heart goes out to you, you know, I, I, I see these things. Why, why do I care about this in America? I mean, I, I prefer, you know, to look at beautiful, um, thin women. I, I really shouldn't shouldn't care. I guess. I mean, I, I think about the, the drug overdoses. I've never known a pretty. You know, I'm from Ohio, the highest drug overdose in the whole country. Not even just per capita, just drug overdoses that lead to death. I never known a person who overdosed. I I don't know anybody who does drugs. I I don't run with these druggies. I don't, why do I care? But I hear the numbers and I'm like, where are the nurses? Where are the doctors blowing the whistle about all these painkillers that they're getting that are leading to them to use heroin and fentanyl, and that's when they overdose. And it, well, the weed too is another big one. So why do I care? But I, I do see these things and it's, my heart goes out to people. So you just gotta get get to being back as natural as possible. One, I, I talk about it all the time on my, on my pages, my videos. Yes, drink lots of water. But then and that's natural, you know? Getting your teeth right is important too. Not not brushing your teeth. That's just you're deceiving yourself. You gotta get that pH right in your mouth and your stomach. Get that eat alkaline foods, chew gum. That's got xylitol in it. I talk about that, you know. That's huge. <laughs> oh my god, coconut oil. I I the thing is I, I eat a lot of food. I eat all day long. And when I do, I, 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 eat, I, I eat not little portions. I just go, you know what I'm saying? I love to eat. I'm a foodie. So and I, I look at it, being a bodybuilder. I've always been able to handle my weight. Until recently, I, I had the, I had the um, issue of the, uh, it's called Olantapine. I talk about it in my other videos. Zaprexa, also it's another street name, I guess. So this is my video. I talked about this about a month ago or something like that, and I wanted to just follow up with this. I thought of about one during one of my videos and get it out there for you. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 you're, it's passed down, you know.